Hi and welcome to Tesla Owners Club Australia Queensland chapter. This has been in the making for a while and now we are excited to let you know that you can join Tesla Owners Club Australia Queensland chapter and benefit from the loan program of different charging gear, charging adapters, charging cables. For those of you who are curious what is past Tesla superchargers and Tesla destination chargers because that's what makes road trips with these amazing cars interesting. So guys, if you are interested in exploring remote areas, inland, uh, Perth, Darwin, uh, what's uh, around Uluru, Ayers Rock, there has been people who've done it in Tesla cars and now you have opportunity as well. If you are going to take advantage of uh, these uh, amazing uh, uh, gadgets that will allow you to charge anywhere from any power point, literally from possibly every house in Australia. What I'd like to tell you about now is just a, a useful set of accessories that you might want to take with you on an extended trip. Um, again, it's about covering all possible eventualities and ensuring that when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you have what you need. Uh, and the first thing I want to talk to is extension leads. Now, it's not at all uncommon, particularly when you're relying on um, private power points, um, for whether they're three phase, single phase, whatever, um, great that they're there and you might find out in advance that they are in fact there and available and you get there and your cable won't reach. You know? And that's happened to me on more than one occasion. So it is really valuable to have a, use, a good set of extension leads. So the first one that I carry is, is, is this one. Uh, this is a three phase 32 amp extension lead. It's a big hefty cable just because of the amount of power that's going through it. And uh, that allows you to plug into the three phase power point, um, run, you know, good 20 meters away. And then into the other end, we'll plug in, you know, your, your, your other charging gear, either the Tesla one or the uh, juice booster, uh, whatever you want to use. So that's the first lead. And then the other scenario is that power point that's out of range that you might want to get access to might be a 20 amp three phase. So for that reason, I have this. And this is just a simple adapter that goes from a 20 amp power point into the 32 amp, which allows me to plug my extension lead in. So that allows the one 32 amp three phase extension lead to also work as a 20 amp three phase extension lead. So that's the second thing. The next thing that I carry around with me is a 15 amp uh, a single phase extension lead. These are just something you can buy from Bunnings. They're, they're quite cheap. And the, the, the primary difference with the 15 amp connector compared to the standard household 10 amp connector is the earth lead is a big hefty thing. So you can't accidentally plug it into a 10 amp connection. So um, 15 amp commonly found in caravan parks and places like that. And again, this allows me to run to whatever other charging equipment I'm using at 15 amps. Now, so I don't have to carry a separate 10 amp extension lead, I also have a little adapter here that allows me to go from 15 amp single phase into a conventional household you know, single phase 10 amp socket. So that's kind of covering all eventualities there. Um, the other pieces that are useful to have. Uh, this is a J1772 adapter. J1772s are a, a relatively um, you know, lower performance single phase uh, charging uh, system. There's, there's a number of them, ChargePoint use them, that are around uh, the place. There's several in Queensland. And um, I don't use it much these days. I used to use it a lot more in the early days. Um, but Sometimes, you know, it's good to have. Again, it's about covering all eventualities. The other connector that I always carry around with me, uh, which we've talked about in one of the other videos more extensively, is the Chatamo adapter. So this provides um, fast DC charging, similar to what a supercharger does, just not quite as fast. And, you know, and the Queensland Electric Highway utilises these. So this is a must-have, in, in my opinion, for extensive travel around Queensland. And, and fortunately, that's also part of the, the loaner kit that the, that the club offers. But I have my own one that just carries around with me all the time. The last thing I want to mention is this Type 2 to Type 2 cable. Um, so 
The advantage of the Type 2 to Type 2 cable is the Queensland Electric Highway um, Chatamo charge points have these as a backup because these are notoriously unreliable, sometimes they're down, and this ensures that you won't get caught out and you have an option for charging um, at those locations. So uh, in the juice booster option that we looked at before, uh, with the juice booster, um, it has a tail that provides that endpoint, which saves you carrying around a whole separate large lead. But if you don't have the juice booster, this is kind of a, a must have in Queensland as well. So that's about it, that, that's my kit. It looks like a lot of gear. Uh, it all packs away beautifully in the lower rear uh, tray of my, uh, of my Tesla boot. And, um, and I'm ready and prepared to go anywhere. If you have found this information helpful, and if you would like to see more of these videos, click on subscribe button now so YouTube will send you notifications of our future videos. And if you are absolutely comfortable with driving around Tesla superchargers and Tesla destination chargers, don't worry about any of these extras because these are for people interested in traveling to remote areas, uh, say to Cairns, to Perth, to Darwin or whole, all around Australia. If you are new to this community, consider joining Tesla Owners Club Australia. Specifically, if you are in Queensland and Northern New South Wales, uh, join Tesla Owners Club Australia Queensland branch for interesting events, get-togethers, and uh, creating and growing this community of uh, Tesla enthusiasts. Thank you.